And so, we are already halfway through the season of summer. Like, this season, I have had probably the most fun with for such a long time. And I'll probably be saying that next season is next season on, but I wholeheartedly say that this is the funnest season I've ever got. And halfway impressions, like, I don't know whether or not I'll do anything, I guess, since there isn't no chapters coming out um, Wednesday. So I guess I can do an halfway impressions. Uh, but let's just say I freaking much love everything I talk about and everything, you know, I review or some even stuff I don't even talk about. But, you know, if you saw last week's anime week, then you know that Titan destroyed the list. So, unfortunately, Titan cannot come on this week. And actually, to be unfair, like, the uh, episode of Titan was good, but it wasn't, you know, as jaw-dropping as the last one, although the ending was pretty sick. So, like I said, if you don't know the rules, basically, I rate top, uh, Five anime that I thought that was very good this week and give them their rage. So let's get on with it, guys. Five is Gatchaman Kraus. Now, a lot of people, like, I see, like, a lot of people really got a, a lot of hatred now for Gatchaman Kraus, which is ironic because I don't see why they are. Like, I mean, because of the old season, like, the old original Gatchaman, I'm not gonna lie, like, I seen some of it and I just didn't like it, like, the old Gatchaman. And seeing this one is vibrant, colorful. I love freaking Hajime, and she put us some very good points in there. And this was a very slow episode for Gatchaman, probably the slowest here. But that speech was fucking amazing that um, Rui did. I thought that was an amazing speech like, that she did and all that. Like, that really made it interesting to see how he's striving just for like the perfect world, and he is literally doing anything. He will sell his soul to the devil. Now number four on my list is Danganronpa episode six. Now I was as well, I apologize, I guess I spoiled a lot of people of what happened in the end though because I, I titled it Yamada had it coming but come on, freaking bitch did I. That was the best episode I've seen because I hated Yamada. I hated him a lot. Ishimaru didn't have to. You know, I he really didn't have to. Like, I I really didn't want him to, but that's just how it goes down. I hate him. I don't trust um what's her name? Celia Celestia. Um, and that's the thing. She's like, I've got her and Kiragiri left, and I think Kiragiri is going to be like to the end of the series. But I really don't want freaking Celestia to get third. I have a feeling it might be her. And number three is Hunter Hunter Night Two. Apart from the Queen, like, this episode was just, like, just see, like, the whole ants are having a revolution. A revolution, everyone, like, they're going crazy, like, they don't care, they're gonna, they're gonna spread everywhere. And then when Colt said to Netra, saying, you could even go against one of the freaking royal guards with your power. How strong are these guys, like, and just like, how are they gonna fight them? That is one thing I don't get. How can you fight the ants with such limit, uh, limited power that you guys have got? I really just cannot see them winning at all. It just, it seems impossible. And then as well seeing like, I think that might have been Kai, but I, uh, I don't know. Number two, this is, is Tayo. Um, I've just been loving how this series has been going ever since it started, you know. Need to watch some Doka Magica already though. I've got to head back, I'm gonna actually watch it after I've like uploaded this video, but I can love it. Like and this episode was focused on Sarah and just seeing how her freaking friend got mauled and you know, finding out that you know that sacrifice that, that girl's friend made just so she could get a heart operation. It was sad, it was just very sad. Yeah, and number one this week can wholeheartedly go to Blood Lad. Blood Lad episode six was fucking amazing. I don't care what anyone said. Like freaking I've heard people say they don't really like this series and all that, but when people when fucking stands comes round and does a Kamehameha, you know shit is going down and Stas is like nobody can beat him. He is literally he is insane, he is just impossible and just when he freaking like freaked his shit and he was like saying how dare you insult my technique this is from the, the greatest hero in the universe like that and he's just like come back <laughs> oh it was just so fucking great and blood lad 
you do be so good as the next on Takatine. But that is it for Anime of the Week 6. Like I said, I might do a halfway impressions of like the season because there are a lot of series to talk about and I don't really want to make this a ridiculously long video. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this week. Is there anything I've really missed out? I know like I haven't been seeing a few series. Like I haven't... Um, I, I haven't seen uh, Inohasu for a while. I know that much. I'm like behind on like three episodes to that. Um, ah, there's that... Uh, Free, well, fuck free. Like I didn't see that anymore, um, and I hadn't seen that other series as well. I forget what it's called, but a lot of people have been recommending it to me. But uh, let me know what you guys think um, about the season so far, and you know, just what is your favourite so far. But that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, Santa, and I'll see you next time. Dude.